Two to three million Americans have the most common type of glaucoma. It's called angle glaucoma, and left untreated, it can lead to blindness. Dr. Alan Mask is here this evening with a new option in treatment. Pam, a simple eye exam can diagnose, can diagnose glaucoma. For most patients, non-surgical treatments will work. Uh, for example, using simple eye drops, but for more complicated cases, there are acceptable standard surgical procedures, but Duke is among those who've been looking for a better way. Glaucoma is more common among older people, but Julie Bryce learned she had it when she was 16 years old. Glaucoma is genetic in my family. With glaucoma, natural drainage channels collapse. Fluid builds up, creating pressure that can damage the optic nerve and lead to partial or complete blindness. I didn't want to have surgery. I was willing to do anything to avoid surgery. Eye drops and oral medications helped at first, but now at age 24, Bryce has had surgery on both eyes. On her left eye, she had the standard surgery called trabeculectomy. The problem with that is that it causes a, a little reservoir on the uh, white part of the eye, which can lead to infection and leaks. So we clearly need a, a better operation. Duke with Dr. Leon Herndon is among the few eye centers offering canaloplasty. It reopens the natural drainage channel in the eye. Through a tiny flap, a microcatheter finds the circular channel around the iris, then the suture is left to keep it open and functioning. But it doesn't get intraocular pressure down as low as the standard surgery. It is for patients who have moderate glaucoma. Uh, who have not had previous incisional glaucoma surgery. Bryce wishes she could have had the newer procedure on the other eye as well. My canaloplasty was so much better in terms of recovery time and then actually just general pain afterwards. It was so much better than what I experienced in my left eye. This is nothing to play around with. Who should get eye exams and then how often? Well, people don't should get an eye exam about every other year if you have a family history. If you had it early in life, as we saw here today, you start getting exams, of course, much earlier. Uh, the risk factors for glaucoma include advanced age, if you're an African-American or Hispanic mm -hmm. or Asian-American, um, diabetes, elevated uh, blood pressure, elevated cholesterol. Again, we call glaucoma the thief in the night because it can steal your vision. It can progress over a period of time and you never know it. So be sure to get regular eye exams. That's your best defense. Great advice. Dr. Mass, thanks.